Fabrini ain't ready. He ain't ready for me, son. Dang. All right, guys, let's go. Here, you can take this ball and borrow my ball for 500 push-ups. Yeah? You can borrow it, but it's gonna cost... How about five push-ups? No? Okay. Can you do five push-ups? No. Okay. All right. Go over there. You're gonna have to kick rocks, buddy. Go on the little mat. Ah, too slow. <laughs> we guys start class with the big kids. Here, Logan. Logan, here. I was kidding. Here. You gotta catch it though. Ready? You gotta catch it, bro. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. Go play on the little mats, though. Okay. Here. All right, later. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go. Uh, let's start with back retention drill. You guys remember? Good old back retention, huh? Kendra? Are you sure? All right.
Uh, actually, this morning. Okay. I should I, instead of instead of asking when's the last time we swept, I should start asking you when's the last time you girls combed your hair and took all the loose hair out. Oh, mine is very well contained. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere. Mine was last night. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, that's, well, I don't know. You could have black roots coming out. I do not have black hair. Let me see if you have any black hair coming out. I don't. No. It's brown anyway, it's not black. That's true. But it could be blended in because it's only one strand. I have to look under a black light. Oh. Yeah, drop the knee, back step with the right leg, and then go. Ah, seat belt's loose. I can see it from here. Kai, are you cussing, Kai? Kai was asking what that thing is on your neck. Uh huh. And that's so that we don't miss any of the trash talk. Yeah. Especially when it comes to Frank, because he likes to talk to his mom about trash talk, but he don't tell me about trash talk. <laughs> that means his trash talk is subpar. You know what that means, Frankie? You know what that means? That means that your trash talk is weak, bro. Nice. You gotta step your game up. You're still a white belt. Frank, I, yeah, I showed some pals your, uh, your, little, uh, your little cameo in the vlog. Your little YouTube, uh, I don't know, subscribe. Do what kids do, subscribe. <laughs> that was Frank. <laughs> I see all the hair on the floor now. I'm gonna have to have you girls start shaving your legs more. <sighs> yeah, it's not me. <laughs> I don't grow hair on my legs. So, all right, uh, sit up. All right, so going over, um, same thing we did last, right, uh, last week, right? Uh, put your knee down. Because I don't think everybody's seen. Okay, just like we're going for Kimura, right? Um, we'll turn this way a little bit. So we're on the Kimura. Right? So as we're coming here like this, A1's gonna uh, grab the inside of his knee, right? So we're gonna do, oh, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. It's not from, uh, we didn't do it from full guard, we did it from half, sorry. So it's here like this, A1 goes here. Standard defense for a lot of guys. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your grips, okay? You're gonna shrimp your butt, create some space if you need to. You're gonna move it, no, no, stay, there. stay up. You're gonna kick this leg over, here, okay? Once you kick this leg over, you're gonna push the knee away to get away from his uh, hand underneath his thigh. You're gonna push and then finish there. Now, sometimes what happens is A1's uh, gonna try to like roll through because he's gonna feel the pressure so you just follow him through. It's like, it's not necessarily all the way realistic, but the guy is gonna feel his arm, his last ditch effort is gonna be to try to roll and create something, because he doesn't want to get submitted, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So we're here like this. Okay. A lot of times too, what we can do, let's do another variation of it. What I'm gonna do is, as I have this, and he has his his uh, hand underneath his thigh, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my knee in and put it on his chest, and I'm gonna lock my feet underneath that half guard, okay? So the key with this one, I'm gonna try to use my shin in his sternum as a wedge to try to pry his hand out of his leg. So he can't keep coming close to me to follow me, okay? So as I'm here like this, it's kind of like a big guy move, okay? But you can catch people with it still if you can work. So now if I'm here like this, I'm straightening my legs into him and kind of pulling him away. Can you feel that, anyone? Okay, so what I'm doing, even if I'm here like this or if I'm here, I squeeze it in here and open my, my knee to his sternum. And then I lock my feet so it creates like a, ba like a, like a brace here. So what I, the, the technique is instead of uh, fully clearing over, I'm going to stop here. Then I'm going to use my frame that I created with my legs to try to pry this out and then keep going. Okay, and then you can go to the second one. You can... Shrimp out, throw this leg over, push his leg away, finish that, okay? Um, and then we went to uh, here. So what I'm gonna do, A1's holding on to his leg still, 
okay? I'm gonna keep that, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep the tension with my top arm as I sit up here, just like so. Drop this top left hook in as I'm keeping this pressure. I'm gonna sit out, bring my right leg out, switch, grab his hips, seat belt to the back, just like that, okay? All right, so that's three moves and then the one variation, all right? All right, let's go, ready? One, two, three. Shadow boxing, Coach AB has been teaching you. It's just shadow boxing. Let's see. Let's see one, two. Let's see your, let's see your two body. Two, two B. All right, all right. So, just to reiterate, especially in nogi, obviously we don't have the grips, so our game's gonna be a little different, right? So, choke hand is on the wrong side, right? So we're gonna go here. Okay, so we're gonna go here like this. Wrist control, foot on the hip, okay? As I push him down, I'm using my foot here, my knee is clamping down here, putting some pressure. I don't wanna leave this open like that. Even though he might go inside like Cruz is doing now, and I can bait that, but still, a lot of good guys that feel this pressure and I'm being really too, too lax with it, they're gonna use that space uh, for a slight moment of opportunity. So I'm gonna stay here, push, my foot goes here, and I'm gonna use this uh, Kimura uh, type grip to loop, forearm goes in the neck. So now I use this to push away here, and then switch, okay? Just get in Go okay. into place. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. So now we're here like this. Okay, same position, right? Choke hand is on the top. In the gi, I can still use that here, right? But I can't use it here, so I gotta figure it out. So now Cruz's hands are on my hand fight. Standard stuff, right? So what I do is I push him down with my seat belt end here. My leg goes over, foot on the, on the forearm right there, okay? So I gotta, I'm chest to back, ear to ear. I push down. Okay, create some space. Now look how high my leg is going here. So I push, because my leg should be stronger than his arms, technically, right? So now you see the space right here? This is one key detail that everybody forgets. They go here, and they transition like this right away. But you see this gap in the triangle? That's a no-go, coach, okay? <laughs> it's a no for me, chief. <laughs> what's, the, what's his name again, Jason? That's a no-go, coach. Memory of Jason? Okay, here, so when I go here like this, and once I clear his arm, I wanna get rid of my left arm and get tight here. Nice tight bite, okay? Now I use my arm as a pendulum to swing this way. Here, swing. Now, once I go here like this, I use my foot on the hip to pull up and adjust here. Boom, squeeze, okay? Now, here, just a standard arm bar, but you pay attention to his arm. Guys who got like Megan's arms, they're just like gum, just stretching out. It's not, not gonna happen, so you gotta pay attention to the thumb and redirect that, that arm. You yeah. have to pay attention to the joint. So I'm pre pretending that the sky is that way, so I gotta go that way with it, right? Just shift on him. Sorry. So triangle, arm bar options right there, and then you got uh, inverted uh, or reversed uh, armbar. Arm bar. Right? So let's do those. Okay? Alright, let's go. Ready? One, two, three. Let's go. go here so same concept you want to be on your hip on your spider right you don't want to be flat 
So I get here and I get into the lasso, right? Make sure that this is still at the hip, right? Don't let it be back here behind your hamstring. Here, okay, this is gonna come across, okay? And I'm gonna kind of forward shrimp here to grab, okay? So now, what I'm gonna do here is use the foot on the back, use this grip, use this grip to load them onto my shins, okay? I pull, okay, over to the side, okay? Sometimes, oh, safety. So right here, what I don't want you guys to do is come this way with this still here, okay? It's, uh, they call it a bicep slicer. You can hurt your partner, okay? So if I come up like this, see how it's trapped in between? Now my shin and all my, see how he's jumping? And I'm barely like slowly coming up. So it's just like, so just don't do it, okay? So what I want you to do is as you're coming up, okay, like this, kick your leg down towards his feet and like circle your hips here. So my right one goes into his hip, into his knee like that. And then just stop right here, okay? You guys got it? Let's go, Franklin. Oh, what happened, are you? Wait, let me guess. You came up on her shoulder and did what I told you not to do. I'm just, it's just a guess, because I see her grabbing her arm. I'm just guessing, wild guess here, that you came up on her arm and did what I said not to do with the capital N-O-T. And I even demonstrated doing it really slow in A1, and what did A1 do? He was about to say, you mother F and he stopped. You see that? Here. Um, I actually like to do it on the cross hip because it allows me to load. Here, up. You all right? Mm -hmm. Kick down. Yep. Swoop up. Right? So that was the uh, the sweep. Stay down. The spider on the left side. Okay. Got to get rid of the, the lasso first. So I walk to the side. Same thing as we always do to get rid of the lasso, right? Or the spider. Shin straight. Circle the hip or the, the leg. Okay. Now from here. Uh, I think it was the, yeah, the second one. I'm going here, keeping this hand, this grip right here on the collar and putting my palm flat so I have a base, okay? Just like that, this hand is gonna grab the collar or the ankle and I kind of sprawl back, just like this. Here, then I walk around here. Now, if he's got my hand deep like that, I come back in, okay, table. This hand's gonna come over and I'm gonna start adding some pressure to help break the grip here. Three, okay. Now, number f uh, three, okay, here, lasso. Same thing, break down here, boom. Now what I'm gonna do here, my right hand, instead of keeping it here, I'm gonna reach and grab the bottom knee like that. Hand here, sprawl back, shoulder down. Walk. And walk backwards, okay? Now, the fourth one, okay, is gonna be similar to uh, number two, where I grab the ankle and walk around. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my elbow to help flare, or sometimes I don't even have to use uh, my, my, uh, here. So I break it down here, here. Now, once I get to this point here, what I can do, my left hand will grab the bottom leg and I use my elbow here. Now, if A1 tries to follow me as I go with his leg, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what I do here, open. He'll try to recover his guard open like that and then I just come back in. Because what he's trying to do is that recovery drill where we kind of go like this and rock our hips back. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like that to try to face me to stay playing offensive. Uh, his open guard, right? Offensively. So as he does that, I'm going to just circle back inside. Okay. So here, break this down here. I hop back. Now I'm going to just use, no, no, no. Just stay there. 
Just your leg. So I use my forearm here to put pressure and then I come back inside here. Okay. He's leaving class so he doesn't get all the, he's right there I'm trying to film. <laughs> okay. Mike should have known this one. So when you get here too, one of the keys is you got to shift your butt to your right. I don't know if I mentioned that. So as you break the guys down, because what I was seeing is you guys were leaning to the left too much. Okay, down here, Shane. Scoot to the right. Pull them down and in, and then up and over. Okay. I, I don't even know if I did it when I was demonstrating it, but that was one of the keys too. You got to come here, shift your body to the right. Don't. Don't shift and get on your hip. Shift your body, keep your body flat here. Just shift this way so you're underneath them. We need one of these for you, Frank. No, so we're in, the kids class was ending. Yeah, so we're, class was ending, right? Kids class was, uh, dodgeball was done and these guys were waiting, right? So I said, kids get out of here. There's cupcakes for you, candy bags. Uh, some of the kids' parents bought stuff, right? So, um, these guys started drilling. They're doing back retention drill off the grips, doing all kinds of stuff. It's already like third or fourth rotation in. I randomly opened the door to spit outside. And look who I see coming in. Nice and slow walking, going like that, eating a cupcake. Kendra. Missy warm-ups to eat a cupcake. <laughs> 